I want to create a look, just a little video that uh, can help you understand how to do repetitive tasks in West Game. And this is using Big Knox emulator. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have it open so you can get at the macro recorder and then open up to the area that you want to do the task. So this is doing Alliance Quests. For Alliance Quests, you want to make sure your VIP activated. And I always like starting off with just a fresh screen of quests. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and on Big Knox, I have a little thing called a macro recorder and you see that it'll come up here and these are all different macros I've recorded and there is this button here is to actually record a macro this is to combine different macros so you can do sequence of events and then this is actually to discard or delete macros that you've recorded if you want and then once you record a macro then you can play it and I'll show you how to do that next uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got the screen open I've actually got then a full page of refreshes or refresh the Alliance quest I'm gonna record opening these and then I'm gonna show you what to do with that so first what I do is I hit record and then I go in and I'm going to open up all these macros, or I'm using them, uh, this record just opening these um, quests. And then at the end, what I want to do is then I want to refresh it and then end off exactly where I start, and then I go up here and I stop it. Now the other thing you can do is they have a little button right next to it to pause. So you can pause recording your macro too if you need to do something else and then go back and resume it. So there's my macro, and it's, uh, you know, so it's my quest open. And so what I did was I recorded one full cycle of opening and then refreshing the quest. Now what I want to do, and there's this little thing here which is your settings so for instance if I have 129 of them you know what I want to loop this 128 times and give myself a burden of error because if you allow the macro to keep going on something like this you can refresh using gold it will rapidly drain your gold if you don't put in some kind of stop or your monitoring like stop button is pressed or you can do it for a certain amount of time uh, and then you can do certain things where you could accelerate the playback. You could make it slower or you could make it go faster. We're just going to keep it at one to one. Um, and so we're going to make this thing loop. I'm actually going to do it three times uh, just because I don't want to do all 100, but you can. And then what you do is then you hit play and watch this happening. So right now it's automatically going through and it's repeating all of those same keystrokes that I just recorded. So boom, 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 boom. And now you're gonna have it, now you're gonna see it go and hit refresh, okay, boom. Now it's gone through one cycle. Now it's gonna complete cycle number two. Okay. And you know, if we need to, I guess we can show number three. But but with this kind of idea of programming it to do repetitive tasks, you can open up gifts, especially if we have West King. And we might get 10,000 gifts that you have to open. Well, you can just program it to keep repeating the keystroke however you want and repeating it for a number of times. You can leave it so it goes and repeats until you stop it. So especially if it's like opening up uh, Alliance gifts, where we get, you know, maybe 400 gifts, Hitting that keystroke is just mind numbing. So you can record a macro that continues. And there you go. See, it stopped itself after running it for those couple times. And so it leaves me here on this screen. And so, you know, I could have programmed that to open up all of them. So that's one way you can use it. Uh, the other way is for like opening up these GIFs, uh, which I think they're all, I have them all closed here. But the nice thing with this one is that you can keep opening them. There's no penalty. Like you don't start using gold if you run into, if you run out of GIFs. And so then you could just do that. And if you have 400 GIFs, it'll just sit there and open them all up and it'll sit there and keep clicking until you stop it. Uh, but I use those macros to open up GIFs uh, on accounts where I don't have VIP 20. I use it to open up quests because you can just do that for 120, 130 times. And on stuff like West King, where well, you might get 10,000 or something that you have to open up, um, that even if you do it 10x, it'll still 
take the aggravation. What I do is I put this on the computer off to the side and I run it. Uh, sometimes I make sure, you know, whatever base I'm doing it is shielded because you can't really tell. And then I'll just kind of monitor it from another screen, etc. But that's that's how you use this macro recorder within Big Knox to use a bunch of redundant things. I'll, I can also use it to ship stuff too. Um, you know, if I'm shipping like 70 shipments, I'll go in and say, hey, I'm going to ship pop-up toy. I'll get into this screen. I'll hit the macro and record it where I'll hit the thing, I'll hit transport, do this, hit transport, repeat the cycle, uh, stop it, and then you know usually if I, if I have five wagons on that thing, I'll time how long it takes, 23 seconds, and so what I'll do then is I'll put in a little delay uh, when in the interval, just to make sure all the wagons get there, get delivered, and then it'll repeat the cycle again. So I might put in like 10 seconds delay. So what it'll do is it'll go through, ship everything, 10 second delay and then repeat it. So if you know, hey, I need to ship 150 million res to somebody and I can ship 15 million at a time like this base, so I'm going to repeat that cycle for 10 loops. Um, and the first time you do it there, so actually you want to do one less than that, nine, so then I can just save that, run it, and it'll sit there and it'll auto ship, and that way I don't have to keep track of everything, I know exactly what it is. And that, it's useful for shipping large amounts of res, etc. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful, and if you have any questions, let me know.